Hello and welcome to the big picture. The controversial issue of hiking the natural gas prices which was to come into force from April 1st has been put on hold by the election commission. The decision came after the petroleum ministry had sought the commission's clearance to go ahead with the hike. Incidentally, Aam Aadmi Party leader Arvind Kejriwal had also written to a letter to the commission seeking it to be put on hold. The decision to hike the prices was taken in June 2013 by the UPA government and notified in January this year. Questions are being raised about the need for the commission's decision. The commission has not made it clear why it has asked the ministry to put the decision on hold. There are also questions being raised about whether this decision could not be exploited by certain political parties to their advantage. Also, should the election commission look at decisions taken by investigating agencies to go ahead with certain prosecutions or investigations during the election time as it could again be exploited electorally. Also, can Supreme Court's decision on Aadhaar could have waited till the elections as it could again be an electoral issue. We will look at all this today with Paranjoy Goha Takutta, Senior Journalist and ec Economic Analyst, Nilotpal Basu, Central Committee Member, CPIM, Sheshadri Chari, BJP Leader, Salma, BJP leader, Salman Sos, Congress Spokesperson and Rajiv Kumar, Senior Fellow at the Centre for Policy Research. Welcome to all of you. Uh, uh, let me go to Mr. Rajiv Kumar. Mr. Rajiv Kumar, you think this, this decision of the election commission is justified? Well, I, no, I don't think it is justified because this was a decision taken long before the elections were announced. And this was taken on the basis of some thorough inquiry and recommendations uh, made by sort of, you know, expert committees. And because it doesn't really affect the electoral prospects directly of any political party, I think this is an unjustifiable intervention, interference in the, act, action, in the, in the executive action. And if such actions continue to happen, then the entire working of the government and of the executive branch of the government would come to a halt with some very grievous consequences for the economy and indeed for the society. Uh, Mr. Mr. Kumar, you know, the election commission in its letter to the petroleum ministry uh, secretary has said that, you know, taking into account all relevant facts, including the fact that the matter is sub in the Honorable Supreme Court, the commission has decided the pro proposal may be deferred. So, it's actually, the, you know, it's also looking at the fact that this issue is before the Supreme Court. Should the election commission, don't you think the election commission should look at this, uh, you know, aspect also? The two relevant parties as a result of the matter being sub judice are the Ministry of Petroleum or the Government of India and the Supreme Court. If the, if the Government of India in its uh, wisdom wanted to go ahead with this, then that's what its uh, you know, considered opinion and decision is. And if on the other hand, Supreme Court did feel that this was a transgression on their authority and the matter of sub judice, it would have uh, slapped, come down hard on the Government of India and given a stay on that. I don't see where the Electoral Commission comes in because I don't see where electoral prospects or electoral considerations are involved in the, in, in the implementation of an executive decision taken long before. And in fact, the, the issue also, Mr. Nikam, is that currently the gas price is $6.67 per million BTU, which has been there since July when the Rangarajan Committee recommendations came in force. And it was going to be raised to eight, 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 eight dollars. It's not such a huge hike. This, 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 uh, you know, Kejriwal's letter of citing one dollar per, you know, MMBTU as a cost of production, then comparing it to eight, it's just I completely think, besides the I point. Don't, I mean, I don't know. I don't think. I don't think election commission took uh, took all these uh, nitty gritties of the rising issue into consideration. Let me get Salman Sos in on this. Salman Sos, your government was determined to go ahead and you know be, uh, implement this price, gas price hike. Now that the election commission has said that it should be put on hold, do you think that the, that the government will, will challenge this uh, somewhere? You think that the government should challenge this? Uh, well, f first I think the minister, um, uh, Mr. Moili has already said that uh, he's going to consult uh, the Solicitor General and the Attorney General and uh, understand the implications of the Election Commission order. 
So uh, once they review that, then I'm assuming that they will uh, take steps, you know, as, as recommended by these two officials. Uh, but setting that aside and uh, just as a matter of, uh, uh, you know, uh, public debate, uh, I, I think it is a, uh, you know, I, I think the, 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 uh, the election commission cited uh, something about this particular uh, case being subjudice in the Supreme Court yes, yes. as one of the key reasons for Settings that, if I'm to understand this correctly, and Absolutely. I think your last speaker, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't get the whole conversation because I was cut off. Right, right. The last speaker mentioned this. I think that uh, that is an interesting kind of uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, you know uh, recommendation because uh, that means the election commission becomes the advocate for the Supreme Court. I don't think the Supreme Court needs any authority from any constitutional uh, body uh, to say whether or not uh, a case that is yeah. under its jurisdiction. Uh, should move forward. So I think that that that, that I, I think creates a little bit of uh, a tricky situation. I don't think that per personally I don't think that is appropriate because the Supreme Court is uh, fully capable of taking sua motu cognizance of any government decision that it finds uh, is in contempt of its uh, if you know if okay. there's anything uh, so going essentially on. So, so I think um, uh, so I find it a bit confusing. So essentially, your government, your party is not very comfortable with what the election commission has done. Uh, Sheshadri Chari, we have not we have not heard much from your party during this entire debate on this gas pricing issue. That you know, you, your party did not take any side. It has not really opposed the hike in gas price ga, gas prices. So you think that this decision of the uh, election commission was justified? <coughs> no, <coughs> I think when the election commission was approached with this particular issue. Uh, it was not. It is not that the election commission or the political class or even the industry, for that matter, has been taken by surprise. This has been in the public domain for almost three, four months, and Rangarajan committee report or whatever the report was. That also, I I beg to differ from Rajiv Kumar. There are certain anomalies in that report also. So, I, th I think the final decision on this has not yet been taken either by the government or by the Supreme Court which is seized of this matter. So, in such a situation, I think election commission has done a very judicious thing. They have not said that you cannot, a government cannot take such decisions. They have only said it's been that you could, have, you, could have, you could have taken this decision well before the dates of the election were to be announced. They were also not a surprise because this government did what? take major no, decisions. Please, 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 they have taken. No, no, they one have taken. Taken. No, no, one second. No, no, one second, Chari. Let us, Mr. It Kumar, Mr. Enough. Kumar, Mr. Kumar, one second. Let me, let me put this straight. Shehjadi Chari, I think, you know, there is a little confusion here. The fact is that this decision was taken by the government in June 2013. It was notified in January, much before the elections, elections were notified. The question was whether Absolute. the implementation should be done from April 1st or not. That was that is the question at which the election commission says that they, it what, should not what, be done. What, 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 why, why, what prevented this government from taking this decision before the elections were announced? And there is a problem. There was a problem there. Let me get. Uh, let me get. Uh, it was. Uh, no, it was taken. What was the problem, Mr. Ch Mr. Jasmine, Mr. Nikam? Yes, yes. Mr. Nikam, can I? Can I just? Yes, 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 yes. Yes. I mean, this is like saying that if the. This is like saying that if the government has, you know, filed a case against somebody much before the elections are announced, and that punishment is going to be, uh, you know, sort of uh, implemented by a certain date after the elections are announced, that will not be taken. That will not go ahead because it might hurt the electoral prospects or for all relevant factors. This okay. is timing of the no, election okay, okay. decisions. No, I don't know. No. Your, your, your analogy I is wrong. Justified. Your point your, is very Your logic may be right, but your analogy is wrong. Yeah, let us. Uh, this is not the proper analogy. No, no. For example, for example, no, no, there is a Jari. case. There is a case against Jalalita, and she has been told to appear in the court on the disproportionate assets case. Nobody is pointing it that out because that is an ongoing case. Right. The court, in its own wisdom, has decided that she should appear in a court in sometime in April. Right. Just during the election. Right. We are not taking any cognizance yep. of that. The electoral Absolutely. commission. We are not opposing that. The electoral that. commission should say. 
uh, following this analogy, the Electoral Commission should say that Supreme Court should not ask her to appear because it will harm the AIDMK's electoral prospects. Yes, if, uh, if somebody, that would probably if be far more reasonable than the stopping this sad implementation. No, Mr. Chari, let us, let us, let, let us get along. Let me get uh, Nilotpal in on this. Nilotpal, Nilotpal, why? Do you, do you, sub, do you, do you agree? with the argument of Mr. Rajiv Kumar that this was something which is the decision was taken you know nearly eight nine months back it was only to be implemented why should the election commission interfere at this point of time hearing Mr. Rajiv Kumar what I understand before I go into the constitutionality or legality of the order of the election commission that few feathers have been ruffled uh, but I don't want to uh, dilate on the issue whether it is uh, a very perfect decision by the government, the manner in which it was taken and so on and so forth. Uh, but you look at the irony, Girish, that uh, the Congress, which was disparate to get the support of uh, people who would benefit out of this uh, move, uh, have moved away from them. And those uh, who are uh, getting benefited also, uh, neither are they raising any questions about this, the BJP nor are they really strongly uh, in a position to oppose the uh, uh, decision of the election commission. No, no, I Mr. think Chari, all, all, all the, Sorry, uh, uh, I'm supporting in, the election commission. Just supported the election commission decision. I, 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 I think in a, in a muffled that. voice, his, his leader, his leader keeps mum. <laughs> the leader generally talks about corruption, but when it comes to uh, privatization of natural resources, uh, which totally, totally benefits uh, uh, f uh, top corporates of the country, uh, he, he keeps mum uh, because Mr. he has his own Tata and Adani and uh, Ambani baggages. So, no, no, so don't therefore, bring in, don't bring in all really, those things. Uh, really, Let us really keep to the fact. Very, Okay. Bizarre kind of a situation we have. No, I, and, I agree. I, I agree. My rank, my rank in my party is not as high as that of uh, Mr. Nilotpal Basu no, in no, his no. party. I, I, I think. But no, I, I, I think Nil uh, Nilotpal, what your party Nilotpal, and what please. your ranks are are, are 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 going to be judged by the people of this country uh, in a month or so. So uh, let us Nilotpal, uh, let us move ahead. Party. But what I am saying, yes. it is very clear that as Girish, you were pointing out to Mr. Chari that uh, uh, on the gas pricing, uh, the BJP has been quite low key, whereas they, there is a high octane campaign on corruption as such. So no, no, my no, no, point no. there is a statement today a situation where a case is pending, where where the finality of the implementation will definitely uh, have a bearing uh, 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 on, on the Supreme uh, uh, and the Supreme Court's order will have a bearing on the implementation. Therefore, it is perfectly legitimate on the part of the Election Commission that uh, uh, just waiting for the Supreme Court order or, or the New government to come in place. There is no harm. Okay. And therefore, okay. I, I don't. I, okay. I don't know whose 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 voice uh, Mr. Rajiv Kumar is echoing. Okay. Uh, um, Parajoy. Paraja is very interesting. Uh, sorry, can what? I, Mr. Mr. Nikam? I, I don't like this. I don't like this innuendo of Mr. Nilotpal Basu. I am not voicing anybody's okay, voice okay, or anybody's interest. Yes, 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 you are Lily. Okay, you have made a point. You are Lily. You are very bad. And you are not getting very bad. I am very bad. You have made your point, sir. It's Parajoy. Parajoy. No, these innuendos are not right. Parajoy. My, you know, it's very interesting. What is interesting about this about this thing is election commission in its order. It's a very simple, straightforward. It's not. It's not an order. It's a letter written. It's to a the, four lines. It's a four line letter written to the petroleum secretary in which he it says that you know we considering all these things we have deferred it. It doesn't bring the model code of conduct right. into the picture. Right. It doesn't you know talk about anything else. So you think that the election commission has has overreached itself by doing what it has done? Okay. Before I answer your question. Girish, let me put out two disclaimers. Firstly, I have a book entitled Gas Wars, Crony Capitalism and the Ambani's, which is scheduled to be released very soon in early April. Second point, I happen to be a member of the, on the, of the governing council of Common Cause, which is a non-government organization, which has moved a public interest litigation, which is currently being heard in the Supreme Court. Having said that, let me make a few factual points vis-a-vis -vis what Mr. Rajiv Kumar has said, what Mr. Shishadri Chari has said. Firstly, 
when the cabinet decided last year to go ahead and have natural gas prices as per a formula suggested by the Rangarajan committee, there was a deep division within the cabinet. It's common knowledge. There were certain people who were favored, certain ministers who favored it, including Petroleum Minister Mr. Moili, including uh, m m Dr. Montik Singh Aluwalia, Mr. Chidambaram, uh, Mr. Anand Sharma, and there were also people who were opposed. And right. This is common knowledge. Mr. Right. Jaipal Reddy, former Petroleum Minister, now Science and Technology Minister, Mr. Jairam Ramesh, among, um, among other, and besides, most importantly, the Power Minister, Mr. Jyoti Raditya Sindhya, and the Fertilizer Minister, Mr. Srikant Jana. So the first point is, it was a very contentious issue because the cabinet was divided. There was no, there was no minute, unanimity. Be that as it may, the cabinet finally decided. Yes. Then in December, this issue was notified. But before it was notified, there was this whole issue about whether the Reliance should give a bank guarantee with respect to the gas which has been, it was supposed to produce right. but did not. Secondly, there is a matter of billion dollars. There was a matter under arbitration where because Reliance has been served a notice of penalty over a billion dollars. Secondly, I must correct Mr. Rajiv Kumar, the increase, the proposed increase in the price of natural gas is almost double. From 4.20 per MBQ, he's saying MBQ, what are the 6.6? He six says we formula, are only paying 6.6. It's a dollars. formula. The, it will from be roughly July, one minute. From sir. July 2013, one minute, sir. The let price finish, being sir. paid is 6.67 dollars. Sir, sir, let me finish. Because the Rangarajan sir. committee recommendations have been implemented. One minute, one sir. Second, sir. Let, sir, 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 let me finish. Facts. Okay, let him. Let please him. Please let, let me finish. Yes, I, I've heard you. I didn't interrupt you. Please let me finish. I'm saying this is a formula. It depends on a variety of factors, but. The chances are the price of natural gas could double with effect from the 1st of April. Secondly, no, that, 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 so once, once, that quote decided so, 8.4 dollars? Oh, yes, no. See, it's a formula. It can go a little below that, little above that. It depends on various international prices currently prevailing. But at current rates, it could be somewhere in the region of 8.3, 8.4 dollars per MBTU. Second point, this new price will be valid for a five-year period starting the 1st of April. Right. Now, I'm going by what the Chief Election Commissioner, Mr. V.S. Sampath, said in Lucknow on Friday. He said, if there is a court case going on, if this issue has been contentious, and it's going to be, why not wait for two months? Exactly. At the end of the day, let's also That's assume, what he said. in the constitutional thing, scheme of things, the Election Commission not only has the right to put on hold any decision of the government which it perceives could have an influence on the outcome of the elections of any kind. Not necessarily, you can say the Congress is not going to be benefited if, if prices of gas go up because it will go against the, the UPA regime. It, it could add to inflation. You could argue in any way which way you can. But you cannot challenge the right of the Election Commission of India after the model code of conduct has come into no, no, being. Exactly the model, the point. No, the no, model no, code of conduct yes. says that from the date the elections have been announced till the process has been completed, which is going to be the 16th of May, what will it matter? Two months? This new price is supposed to be valid for a five-year period. I mean, I think, wh why are we making such a big deal out of an issue which is undoubtedly extremely contentious well, and extremely con controversial? Okay. Uh, no, but uh, Paranjoy, the fact is that the Election Commission has not mentioned the model code of conduct. Well, that is, un unless they, they no, come out with some other see, order. Listen, no, we, 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 have on record what, what, we, we have on record what Mr. Sampath has said. We also, he said they have taken into account the facts of the case. I mean, this is what that letter to the Petroleum Secretary said. Now, what are the facts of the case? The facts of the case is that there is an arbitration uh, pro does, yet to take oh, place. Okay. That there, there is a penalty that has been okay. levied. There, there are a whole set of issues. Okay. It's, it's not okay. one okay. controversy, yes, yes. but a series Mr. Rajiv, of Mr. Rajiv Kumar. Mr. Nikam. Yes. Mr. Yes, Mr. Mr. Nikam, Kumar. isn't yes. it logical to ask? As to that, the election commission is, of course, that election commission must act wherever electoral prospects or the implement, undertaking of the elections is affected. I want to know from my esteemed friends, how does the implementation of this decision taken many months ago affect the electoral prospects of any political party or the undertaking of the election exercise? <coughs> and if not, then why should we make why should we make this it's completely extraneous reasons the, the basis of this decision? Okay. And, and secondly, okay. so I, I, the I, I, whole let me thing why. about Supreme, let me the why. Supreme Court is is is, 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 me, is 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 actually very very disturbing for me because the Supreme Court in its judicial you know overreach 
will will is now become the repository of every technical wisdom in the country. Uh, Mr. Mr. Rajiv Kumar, Mr. Mr. Rajiv, Mr. Mr. Rajiv Kumar, 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 yes. Girish, you want? I'll come to you, Nilakpal. See, see you are questioning whether the Supreme Court has the technical competence. I think the Supreme Court will depend on the views of technical experts. You are questioning whether the Election Commission this, should have done trend, what it did. One minute, one trend, minute, sir. Mr. One Gwar minute, Thakurta, sir. One minute, sir. One minute. One minute. One minute. Executive decision. One minute. Sir. Float up to the Supreme Court. Uh, don't you think that this, that is vitiating our democracy? No, I don't agree with you. I don't agree with you. If, if Kumar, the price Mr. of Kumar. gas goes up, so will the price of fertilizer, so will the price of power. That will have an impact on, could on, I, on everybody, I, including you and me. Yes, and uh, Paranjoy, one second. Let me get not, your... Not, yes, not if they reduce the subsidies. <laughs> no, Nilotpal. Nilotpal, yeah. I, I no, get I, to respond please. to Nilotpal Basu's uh, comments. I'll, I'll come to you. I'll come to you. Uh, yeah, since, I'll since. come to you, Salman. Nilotpal, my question is: See, Mr. Rajiv Kumar's point is that yeah. if if every issue like this goes up to the Supreme Court, Supreme Court sits in decision. What happens to the, you know, what happens to the executive's authority? What happens to uh, the the scheme of things or the Constitution? You think uh, and 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 in this specific case, as he says, the decisions have been taken. Why? Why delay it further? On the you other see, hand, he says, uh, Paranjay says, just two more months shouldn't make a difference. You see, that is the that is the point I was making anyway. That uh, since Mr. Rajiv Kumar is uh, donning the mantle of being repository of all technical wisdom, let me point out: uh, in this entire gas pricing issue, there was no techno economics involved. Not, Ultimately, it was cleared by the Mr. Uh, Kumar. Uh, Mr. Kumar, let him let him have his say. The, you can have your say. Let him uh, have his say. No, not even the committee of secretaries cleared it. Oh, it is the group of ministers which cle cleared it. I will tell you why this is going to influence. And in the coming days, we will see many such issues have to be tackled by the election commission. You see, there has been a spree of advertisements released by both the government of India as well as several state governments, particularly the Gujarat government. Now, these are profusely in, uh, 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 influencing the content of media and their election coverage. And today, the fight between the two big parties, Congress and BJP, is for the uh, uh, support of these big corporates. And therefore, I mean, uh, they okay. are doing anything and everything okay. to pressurize no, no. Okay. incumbent governments <laughs> and also the opposition to have their uh, way through uh, by, by uh, really sidelining a proper public discourse and a proper uh, examination. Okay. Things already we, in, on the basis of our laws and Mr. our Nikam. constitution. One second. One second. Already Mr. Nikam. Okay. Okay. Nilot Pal, okay. Underway. Mr. Election Nikam. Commission as a constitutional how, authority how is very much Mr. 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 Kumar, Mr. Kumar, there are two other, to there are two other guests on the program. Nilot Pal, please. Nilot Pal, you have made a point. I want Salman to come in. Mr. Kumar, you have made your point. Let me get the other two guests also. No, no, it's not. It's not a. This is not only between you and and Mr. Dilotpal, there are other uh, people there. The Salman says, my question is, with the government now seems to be in a completely, uh, you know, uh, has been cornered on this issue. You think that either way, if, if the government takes up, takes up this matter, it can become a political hot, hot potato. So you think that it, it, it is wiser for the government to just leave it at this and wait for two more months? It, it, after all, it, it takes two more months to, uh, you know, implement this decision. Look, uh, Girish, I mean, yesterday I was on a TV channel and they accused the Congress of somehow uh, conspiring, not the channel, but um, the opposition, of uh, kind of conspiring to get this decision through by the Election Commission so that there would be no hike and people would be okay with the Congress party. I want to tell uh, uh, Mr. Basu that uh, you know, he's a very respected uh, leader, uh, but uh, 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 these kinds of allegations and insinuations, I think, do not behoove uh, uh, the, the left. I think the left has really nothing to offer to uh, the people of this country. We've been building the, of this country uh, for the last 10 years. It is no coincidence that this country is the third largest economy in the world. Salman, Salman, let's not get into this. What we are trying, what we are trying to uphold. No, let me finish. Let me finish, please. I have been waiting very patiently for a long time now. He is very upset with me. Yes, yes, Salman. No, no, but let me. I'm going to. No, you have to give me an opportunity. I've been listening. We have been trying to uphold a process. Now, what has happened here is 
you know, forget about the, the merits and demerits of whether or not the expert committee should have given such a price increase or such a price formulation. I don't want to get into that. That is part of the discussion. But let us go specifically to this particular case. The Election Commission, in a short letter, only talks about how this particular issue is subject. There are many yes. issues around this thing. And maybe we should just defer it. There are two things. How many times are we going, you know, this is, in my opinion, a subjective decision. There is no objectivity around it. Okay. I mean, there could be so many decisions like this, so oh, many cases okay. like this in this country. This is a okay. vast country. Okay. And, and the Commission cannot speak for the Supreme Court. Okay, Salman. Shishadri Chari. Shishadri Chari, I have a more fundamental question here. I want you to address that. My question is, you know, the way things are happening, that you know, the government... The government also in, at se in several occasions would rather leave it to the election commission or the Supreme Court when it becomes very tricky for them to handle. Even in, even decisions, executive decisions are now left to the, uh, with the whatever Rajiv, Rajiv Kumar says. Even otherwise, we have seen several cases, several of these issues going up to the, the government is very comfortable. The, uh, the opposition parties also are very comfortable when, when these decisions are taken by either the election commission or Supreme Court. So what has happened to the negotiation skills in a democracy between ruling party and opposition parties where these kind of issues needs to be settled? <coughs> no, I, I, I don't agree with this. As far as the government's contention is concerned, I don't know why the government allows the allows this issue to fester and then go to the election commission. Now somebody mentioned whether the election commission is right in doing this or not. They have been approached by some party. They have been this issue has been raised, and it is very much within their legal framework to give a judgment on decision on this. Now it is for the government to go by this regulation or the decision that election commission has given. Now till the elections are, from the day elections are announced till the counting takes place and the results are declared, election commission has a role to play in this country according to constitution, right. number one. Number two, when it comes to opposition, see we, we bit the bullet when the Telangana issue came up. We could have easily told the government that this decision can be taken by the next government but we have not done it. But where there is a policy decision, <coughs> where some decision is going to affect a large number of people and when the policy decision changes the very contours of economy, I think the government should in by itself put it on hold okay. and not take any such decision which will affect the economic values of this country. Mr. Rajiv and Kumar, moreover, Mr. Rajiv moreover Kumar. I, think, I think the Rangarajan I, I, committee report back. also is not final. Okay, Mr. Rajiv Kumar, don't you think there is a there is validity in the argument that you know just one and a half months to go? Why take this decision, which involves huge huge cost to a lot of people? Let the new government come and take the decision. Mr. Nikam, the f first thing is yes, yes, please long ago. Yes, two please. the the prices may not may not necessarily be passed on to the consumers. The government regularly subsidizes, fertilizers, power and food and it can continue with that subsidy. The only thing that will happen is the subsidy amount will go up and that's the only effect that this will have. It will have no effect on the common people, which is why there is complete irrational, irrationality in this in this particular decision. Okay. There is there is the whole subsidy element. Nein, the only nein, thing Rajiv that will Kumar, I can't the fiscal agree. deficit I don't, okay. from the government. Okay. Yes, sir, yes, Rajiv Kumar, it's not need. that just the subsidy will go up. Okay, okay, Mr. Kumar. Yes, okay. yes, Paranjay. It's interesting. That's that all that will happen. Okay. It's interesting that Mr. Rajiv Kumar is saying that if the subsidy uh, goes up, it's not going to affect the common man. The government and everybody in the government is all along arguing that we shouldn't have a high subsidy bill because it increases the fiscal deficit. All of that is bad for the economy, would add to inflationary pressure. That's one part of the story. I think it's very important to know. One minute, one minute. Both ways. One minute, one minute, sir. Mr. Chidambaram himself has said that this decision should go to the election commission. I'm not saying it. Mr. Chidambaram, the finance minister, has been quoted as saying. Okay. Second point, when Mr. Arvind Kejriwal went on record and he said, who is run the running the government? Is it uh, uh, Mr. Manmohan Singh or Mr. Mukesh Ambani? And, and, and uh, Mr. Mukesh Ambani, he alleged that Mr. Mukesh Ambani is running the government. Once again, Mr. Chidambaram refuted his argument. He said, how can you say Mr. Mukesh Ambani is running the government? The, this same government has imposed a penalty of over $1 billion on, on Reliance. So 
electricity no. is 1.8. So I am saying there's a huge amount of hypocrisy among various people. The okay. same you I know, think neoliberal school of economic thinking okay. who said subsidies are bad, fiscal deficits are bad, are yeah, going yeah, ahead yeah. with this kind of administered price of gas. Okay. And you know, it's, it's, it's neither um, fish nor fowl. Okay, At the okay, end of the day, okay, ONGC benefits, <laughs> so does Reliance. Okay, Paranjay, we're completely run out of time. We're completely, sorry, we're completely run out of time. This has been an interesting disc discussion and this is, this is bound to be discussed further. But Election Commission has said what it has said, but we wish that it had given a more reasoning for as to why it has taken this decision and whether it is a violation of the model code of conduct because that would have made this whole issue a little more clearer. Thanks to all my guests, Mr. Rajiv Kumar, Salman Soz, Chiyadri Chari, Nilotpal Basu and Paranjoy Goha Takurta. Please keep watching. We'll come back with another issue in Big Picture same time tomorrow.